what's going on? So I thought I'd do a quick update uh, <clears throat> for my friends in Tampa. Um, just to let you know, got a little surprise going on here. So I, we're up here in Mobile, Alabama. This is the rest stop on the state line here. It's actually a pretty nice little rest stop. And you see my car here. I have been working on a new career for about two years. And some of you watching this know that already because you're a part of the forums or whatever. Tonight's, tonight's uh, home is right here. Um, yeah, so about two years ago, I started working on a career as, a, as an insurance adjuster for, category, for cat storm, hurricanes, and things like that. And my friend uh, Keith uh, told me about it. Actually, my friend Tiffany told me about it. Tiffany Fuentes told me about it first, but uh, Keith got me into it and uh, set me on the path anyway. And it has been a long, hellacious, chaotic, very expensive, um, grueling thing. I'm going to make some videos about what it means to get started in the industry, in the insurance, independent adjuster industry. Um, it's a lot of videos, a lot of information out there. A lot of it's good, and some of it's just it's not real. It's not realistic, at least in my experience. But I am happy to say, as of right now, I am now working with Pilot Catastrophe in uh, Mobile, Alabama. And I'm working as an inside desk adjuster. And uh, I'll be starting that on Monday, which means I now live here in Mobile. And uh, at least while this deployment goes on. So just to explain, first of all, I want to say thank you to my friends that have helped me with so many things and I'm gonna try to come back down to Tampa this weekend maybe next weekend we'll see what happens um, and say hello and say goodbye for a while which means some of my gigs I'm gonna to have to fill in and uh, if you're watching this Kristen I haven't told you yet mm, sorry about that uh, but I'll tell you soon uh, because this just happened to me it just finally finally came through so I have been since I began to hear about this, it's been about two years. I've been wanting to get out of playing music full time for years because, as anybody who does it knows, it's it's hard to make a lot of money at it. And I've done it for years, done it full time, done it part time. I love to play music, but I'm you get to a point where you, I got to a point where I hated it. So you don't want to hate the thing that you you are. I'm a musician and. Uh, you just can't make enough money doing that. So, for me anyway. So, two years ago, I decided I'm going to do something drastic. And I've been, I started by, our, my lease ended with my friend. And uh, rather than get an apartment, I bought a, bought a brand new Pathfinder. And um, that became my, my house, briefly, for about the first winter two years ago. And uh, I wanted to simplify and live a, boondocking, travel, hiking, live on 500 bucks a month life. And I didn't really know where I was headed with that, but I knew, I felt like something was gonna happen. And I was headed somewhere different. I knew I had to start. And sometimes when you wanna make a big change, you just have to change. So that's how it started. I tried to get out of playing music. I drove across the country twice. I traveled, I saw a lot of cool things. I hiked, I spent all my money. And then I came across this, um, idea for this job and it's a great job for me as my friend Keith said because you know you work for yourself you travel a lot you have to be able to be independent work on the road six eight nine ten months out of the year live out of your car or RV and I, I was like man that sounds fantastic because I want to do that anyway I want to get out of Ybor City I want to get out of the bars I want to get out of that full-time vampire life so when this job idea came around, I'll talk more about what it is later, but um, also you can make great money at this. So it is a job career that has no actual path, no way to get into it, no set. You go get a degree and then you get a job or you just have these set of skills and you get a job. It's nothing like that. It's very difficult usually to get into from scratch. So, and it has been brutal on me 
for a year and a half, two years. I've been trying to get get a job and get working for that long. In that time, in that meantime, I've been volunteering in state parks to, to get a free place to camp. I bought an RV, I sold it, bought a bus, I sold it, and then got down to that teardrop trailer I had, you might have seen, I sold it to get up here to get one more shot at getting this job. I've driven up here four times for free training that different companies offer, but during the winter there's no work. It's, it's just been really tough. I came up for this inside adjuster job, which is not what I was planning, but it's, it's a great company. Pilot is a great company, I think. And um, did the training. I've done three different trainings for three different types of adjuster adjusting. I've been on one storm last year, Hurricane Michael, briefly with another company, done training with them, also a very good company, and just looking for that opportunity down to my last dollar. Sold everything I have, including my speakers, um, my guitar, sold my acoustic, my Taylor. I even sold my trailer. It's gone because I knew it would either happen this time or I'm done. Just gonna go back to doing whatever. Find some other path out. Did the training this week and it went really well. It's gonna be a kind of a, a brutal job for your brain. It's very difficult. Long hours, 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Not always, but a lot of the year. And you know what? There's people clamor, clamoring at the door to get that job because it pays well and it it's hard to get in this industry man so I don't know what's gonna happen from here other than Monday morning I start with pilot as an inside desk adjuster I'm very excited I want to thank uh, all of people that have been helping me in the background and even those who helped me who weren't realizing it just by keeping me going uh, and being good friends you know Aaron at tequilas Kristen at Big Easy Johnny Castillo Manny any other people that I'm gonna really miss. I'm getting kind of sad, actually. I'm gonna miss, but this isn't permanent. Um, this is what we call a deployment. So it's similar to what you would think military deployment in the sense that you're called out, you go on your deployment. At some point, deployment will end. We'll just come and say it's over, we're done, we don't have claims, see ya. The thing about pilot working inside is that doesn't usually happen inside. So you could technically be deployed for 15 years, you know, whereas the outside adjusting, it takes many years to get that kind of consistency, which it can be done. But uh, uh, I'm just looking at it as a great place to start my career with this, doing training and uh, going to learn a lot, going to be tired. And tonight, because I'm down to my last dollar until I get a paycheck. And you know what? That's freaking awesome. Because I figured if I don't do this, if it doesn't happen, no one's going to be able to say you didn't try, especially me. So it paid off. And this is going to be my house for a week. By the way, it's been my house for about four months, off and on. And uh, after all, what do you really need? You're trying to live cheaply. You need a bed. You need security, a place to sleep, put your head. In the morning, I get up and work. And if you're working 12 hours a day, I don't really need much else. But of course, I'm going to do something else once I get a paycheck. But uh, thank you guys. I will see you in Tampa as soon as I can. I uh, love you guys. And um, here we go.